I'm gonna go into the furnace and wind up my first gather of glass. Now this pipe's been preheated. When the glass comes out, it is um, glowing orange, but that's only because it's so very hot. It's actually crystal clear. Uh, and it's so hot it just moves if you don't turn the pipe while you're working. I'm gonna get a little more glass in this. And to color this, I'm gonna dip it in chips of glass that have been pre-colored with metal oxides. In this case, we're using an iris yellow that's colored by, uh, I believe, silver to make the iris yellow. I could be mistaken on that one. That's one of the colors I'm not 100% sure on. Use things like iron to make green, or 14 karat gold to give you pink, cobalt makes a nice dark blue. Now this, this blob of glass is solid, it needs to be hollow, we're gonna make it into a fish. So I'm gonna blow into the pipe, <laughs> trapping the air inside with my thumb. The pressure has to go somewhere. My thumb's not going to move, but that glass does is pushed out of the way. Now to make this more fish-like, I'm gonna give it a swing to stretch it out. There we go. Cooling off the base and inflating a little bit more. Look, it looks a lot more like a fish now, right? No? Okay. So, I'm gonna use the blades of my jacks, that's this tool here, to squeeze down the glass. This is where I will remove it from the pipe and make a mouth a little later. Stretching out the glass as I do so. I'm gonna get this hot, flatten it, and stretch it a little bit. Now typically when I make a fish, I have an assistant help me. I'm doing this one on my own. Um, so you get to see me play with two pipes at once, which is not always easy. That Irish yellow is already starting to reduce because my furnace is very gassy. So I'm gonna turn the gas down on my furnace a little bit. And stretch that out some more. I'm gonna turn my gas down a lot. I don't know why it needed to be turned down so much. That was unusual. Anytime you touch the glass with tools or you leave it in the open air for too long, you're cooling it down and you're constantly uh, having to reheat the glass to keep it moving. The hotter the glass is, the easier it is to work. The colder the glass is, well, not so much. So we're going to keep that glass moving by keeping it hot. You can see that reduction, that shine has gone away. We'll get it back though right before the end. Uh, but if you over reduce the glass, it can make uh, kind of for some ugly patterns. Now, our fish needs to be able to see where it's going. So for that, we're gonna give it some eyeballs. So, go into the furnace, scoop up some glass. And we'll give him some eyeballs. So here's eye number one. And number two. We'll put this back up in the heat to warm it back up, because I'll use it again in a second. I'm gonna take a moment to clean those eyes up, make them more similar to each other. They're a little off right now, but when you're doing it by yourself, that happens sometimes. All right, so we've got our eyeballs. We're gonna put some pectoral fins on the fish now. It has to be able to steer. Uh, otherwise, it'll just 
sit in the water all day. So let's put some pectoral fins on. Now ideally, I would have an assistant bring me this piece and I could make two separate fins. Since it's just myself, we're gonna cheat. We're gonna make one fin. Woo, there we go. We're gonna make one fin right here on the belly. And before I do anything else, I'm gonna give it a quick heat. And again, we'll reuse that in a moment. So I'm gonna put it back in the heat. Furnace is getting a little cold. Now to make our fins, I'm gonna split this in half and use a fan crimp to give it some texture. There's fin number one, fin number two, and we'll stretch it out. Now I didn't have to use a fan crimp there. I could have used tweezers and that would have been fine. But the fan crimp just speeds up the process. And again, when you're working alone, that's great. Now I need the dorsal fin and the tail fin. And again, I normally make them as two separate fins, but I'm working by myself. So we're gonna get this done in one. I'm gonna give the whole thing a quick heat. I kind of tagged the pipe that was in there, but that's okay because I tagged it right where I'm gonna put that dorsal fin anyway. So it's not really a big deal. As long as I can get it off, there we go. Oop. So that got a little funny looking, but that's a quick fix. You stay, don't move. Too much, there you go, all right. For our dorsal and tail fins, I'm gonna get some glass out of the furnace. I'm gonna flatten it. I use my straight shears here. Come on, spin. There it goes. Sometimes it doesn't want to spin on that move. I'm done with this now. We're gonna texturize that fin and then remove our fish from the pipe and work on the mouth. All right, so let's give this tail and dorsal fin some texture. Make sure it's really well fused to the body at the same time. And I like these sort of tropical fish. This doesn't represent any particular fish, but it does look tropical, it looks the part. I'm gonna move these fins a bit so he'll sit on a table. I'm about out of room. go and now one last step we're gonna bring that shine back to the body so turn the gas all the way back up and there's that shine coming back all right, folks, let's get the fish off the stick. Very hard to sell a fish on a stick. So, I'm just gonna drop the tool I need on the floor. That's par for the course. We're gonna give it a very gentle squeeze, a gentle tap, and it pops right off. Now, it's got an opening there and it's sharp, and often I will torch that and, um, and open the mouth nice and wide. But since I don't have anybody to kind of take a heat while I'm getting ready for that, I'm just gonna add a pair of lips instead. A hot blob of glass. Cut.
cut in a little pair of lips. And there we go, folks. What do you think? You like our little fish? I'll show them off to you. I'll say, you're on camera. You can clap louder than that. All right. Woo. And there we are. All right, into a cooling oven, a 925 degree oven where our fish will remain uh, until we are all done working tonight. When I'm done working, I start a 14 hour cooling cycle to bring that down to room temperature. Everything in the shop is made the same way. It goes through the same cooling process. It's all for sale. Uh, feel free to pick things up. You can buy the fish you saw made if you'd like, although we'll have to ship it to you because the way it cools down, unless we're lucky enough to see you again uh, tomorrow or next weekend. If you have any questions, come on down and ask. We do teach classes, so you can make a glass flower of your own today if you want. Uh, just ask Amber about that if you're interested. Thanks a lot. I hope you enjoy the rest of your festival. Enjoy your day.